What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here with the SCX-10 Pro. It's basically, uh, we ain't done a whole lot with it. It's got 850 milliamp. I know y'all have seen me run this truck before. It's just what I'm in love with right now. We got an Axe uh, Fusion SE. I forget which one we got. I think we got the higher of the two. I can't remember what they come in. Maybe a 24. Uh, and we uh, got uh, J Concept Tusk on it. And everything else is completely stock. That's the only thing we've done to it. We just built the kit up. We've got this raised up so we can clear the servo horn a little bit. And uh, it's been performing good, but I hope y'all enjoy this video. Okay, we're gonna try to make all this in one little clip. We hit climbed on this side of the river quite a while. about is that one little log over there on the dam. I don't think it would come towards us because there's no water over here. All the water is on the other side of the river. Yeah, it's getting a little slippery there. It's funny that you would think these rocks, it's probably about 80 degrees out here, you would think these rocks would be better on a hot day, but they're actually more stickier the colder it is out here. Tumble wumble. Just take it back up there. Yes, sir. We can get that line again. Come in a little deeper, maybe. Oh, not too much. Still too much. I got some, uh, not anaphones, but some of the. I've heard people call them yesers. I call them the yes, yes sir. <laughs> got some of them on order. We should be getting them anytime. So uh, we're gonna throw. We got another set of tusks sitting at the house, a new set of wheels. So we're gonna throw them in there and see. I don't want to touch these. These are doing pretty good. I got dual stage in the back, the factory in the front. So uh, we're gonna do them and test them out and see how they see how they work out. Let's just go down here to the, uh, to the little crossover and try to stay out of this slime. We can get up, up this. I gotta find me a, a servo horn for uh, my Reese 99 to go into the, the overdrive on the transmission on this thing. I ain't gonna have to find one that I really like. It's got to have a slot in it. I've got a race 99 servo one, but I need one with a slot at the end instead of one that's just got the place for the, the little screw that we go through your linkage. Oh, look at her bite. Yeah, yes sir. All day long. We'll take it down this little, little part here. Try to stay up. Once you slide down in there, it's pretty much over. Line it up over here. Get the water. We got this little clip together. Got to go up here. You may have to bounce it up here, but it's real dangerous because if you look on the other side of this thing, that's deep water right there. That's probably four or five foot. I should fell in there one day. So it's real deep. There we go. We got it 
good up there. Nice. Sir. people laying out in the sun down here and hanging out and, you know even though I'm filming I really stop and I don't want to be the rude guy with the camera. We got enough rude guys with cameras walking around. <laughs> Not that I know yeah I'm just saying you know I've run into them before. Come up out of here. I think we're going to go back out. This is the same way we come in. The sand all over the side of this. Okay, we made it down here to the spot where you normally see us at. And this is just park right here. It's a little cooler down here, it's in the shade, but we still got all that sand on our wheels. And you can see it, it crawled it with no problem. Man, I can't believe how shady it is. I guess I'm usually not down here this late in the day. It's about 3.30. Tell them tires and foams are breaking in on the front. Starting to wake a little bit. available now so if you're looking for one go out and get you one i will leave a link in the description it's an affiliate link it helps support my channel i get a small percentage but it doesn't cost you any more and as you can tell right there that seal didn't leave nothing it didn't leave nothing on the table when they come out with this kit it's 100% all there. I know a lot of people was complaining about the price, but most of them people have never built a comp truck before and don't realize. You know, you're getting a transmission, you're getting axles, you're getting a link, you're getting a good chassis. There's no reason to upgrade this to carbon unless you're just a carbon nut. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of companies that are offering aftermarket chassis. It's all up to you, but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied and content with the current chassis I have right here, which is the stock aluminum. Now we're going to try 
try to peek over here right quick since we're over this way. There we go. Ooh, we slid off the right back back there. Reset. Sir, yes, sir, all day long. How you doing? Good to hear your sister get the gas. It's funny, I come down here and I uh, smell some funny smell stuff burning down here but once I whip out the camera they disappear. Said a big group just leave. That's everywhere I go though. Smell that. I mean, it's not uncommon. Every almost everywhere I go I smell it. I mean I ain't got no problem with it but you need to be respectful of others. But when I say don't, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, what you do with your body and your business, I'm going to pray for you, but... I'm going my phone going on. We can't go down. We can't come down here without doing some of this. Breaking in. I'm gonna uh, try to jump. Jump up this a little bit. Sometimes this can be the luck of the draw. Ah! I'm just gripping. Well, I think we've done all we can do down here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Most important, this is the reason I make his videos, is just to say this I love you, but God loves you more.